Hello, my name is Sue Grant. Welcome to Burton in the UK on a grey spring day. We're going to have a look at the Yongut 27 metre Vivid just before she left us to head down to the Mediterranean. Of aluminium, built by Yongut in 2001, of the first quality of course, and she is in sparkling shape. Doug Peterson design and with this amazing proper deck saloon which makes her ideal for cool water sailing. It's also fully air conditioned, so uh, it's great when it's far too hot too. The top sides were repainted in 2020 and are looking very fresh. Very good looking transom, hydraulic passerelle and a drop down bathing platform, which we'll have a look at in a minute. And we're just going to hop on board and have a look at the deck first. The superstructure paint is in fantastic condition. It had some updates and touch-ups in 2020, but you just can't see the line. She's got a fantastic carbon Martin Marine rig with in-boom furling. Reckman furling at the front. Rig was down in the winter of 2021 for all new standing rigging. It's all rod. And she has Elvstrom plain sails from 2019. We're going up to the stem. There's a very big boot just behind that inner cutter stay. And we'll have a look at this fabulous rig. Looking absolutely amazing. Of course, she's got her rib tucked up in a well on the foredeck, which you can see. It's a Novarania 400DL with a 40 horsepower Yamaha. Decks are in lovely shape. Great wide side decks. Very easy to walk around and to work. The sail plan is simple. She's also got a asymmetric in a hoisting sock for downwind sailing. Very capable go anywhere yacht. And in her first ownership, she went everywhere and did so very well. She had a big refit at Yongut in 2012. And in this ownership, She's had refits 2016 and of late. So we're just looking at the aft deck and we're going to take a look at the drop down transom and uh, storage within. So hydraulically operated as with the windless sail handling and much else looking in amazing shape. There are steps that go into the water and secure from this platform, so very easy to get on and off the yacht and for swimming from and so on. So onto the step and we look back. This is a huge storage area there's a new 2019 Onan 22.5 kilowatt. Loads of storage. Amazing crew who make sure that she gleams from every possible angle. And then back up onto the aft deck. Twin steering, clearly. All the controls come here for sailing. BNG has been updated. She's running on 500. She's got a Furuno plotter and radar. And she's also got, as you can see here, bow and stern thruster, both hydraulic 
on Hydromar. Very good vision and even the controls for the main engine and bandstand thruster are beautifully varnished. And you see this area here is fantastic for lounging in on nice days. So let's have a look in the deck house. So here we are in the deck house of Vivid. Incredibly light, bright and airy. Uh, great for when the weather is uh, not good or very cold and also excellent for when you're in the tropics. These windows are hydraulically operated and drop on the side. Two tables, masses of space for eating, lounging, reading a book and just enjoying being on board. Control station here, radar screen, everything has been updated. Onboard computer, and she has full comms, she has VSAT satellite for voice and data, and is very ready for sailing the world. Right, so down into this excellent lower main saloon. Of course, Yongut joinery is legendary and this joinery is faultless. In teak with ebony inlays. She has new stuff furnishings. A lot of work was done to the seating area, updating that in 2019. New Apple TV, she's got new Sonus Fusion entertainment throughout the yacht. And she's also got this lovely marquetry, which was done by Arima and can be included as you wish. Forward is the crew mess and accommodation, and the owner and guests are all accommodated aft. So let's go and have a look at that. And we're going to go down this corridor and start in the owner's stateroom, which is completely epic. She's got new LED lighting, Everything is very crisp throughout the yacht. This lovely artwork is by Georges Cabot and can be retained on board as you wish. Lots of storage, great writing desk. You see how this is executed in leather and there are some lovely other touches in leather here and elsewhere aboard Vivid. nice hull ports so there's lots of space and air and this sofa is just a great place to spend time. And then we're going to have a look at the owner's ensuite. There is a separated shower stall. Everything is in perfect condition. She's got new Tecmar loos and Hammond sewage treatment lovely marble surfaces. Very clever lighting. And then we're going to come out and have a look at the guest accommodation. The guest accommodation is mirror image, port and starboard. Two lovely twin cabins. all in perfect condition, new soft furnishings. Very comfortable places to spend time and each of them have their own heads compartment. 
So we'll just have a look at the one on the port hand side. Circular shower, trademark of Yongut. They were the first guys to do this. And then we'll go and have a look at the other side, which, as you will see, is very similar and just as comfortable. And again, in faultless condition. Please wave to Harry, our photographer, who's doing this walkthrough for us. and another outstanding heads compartment. Another circular shower. Where the deck heads meet the edges, it's all crisp and absolutely perfect. And then, into the business end of Vivid, we're going through the watertight bulkhead into the engine room. HEM watermaker on your left-hand side and to your right is a Scania 257 and that has all been updated. Big review on it and it's absolutely perfect and good to go for many hours. Charging systems and if you look to your right you can see that there's a Kohler generator in an acoustic hood, 35 kilowatts. all in immaculate good shape, very well maintained. Patrick, her captain, makes sure that everything is just so here. And you've even got tools just to your left. And everything is absolutely at hand. So then, back into this lovely lower saloon we'll have a look at what's going on at the front end. So down into a nice crew mess. Washer and dryer working as I speak. B&G readouts, control panel, trusty Dyson. And then into a big galley, it's mealy. You have convection oven, induction hob, microwave, everything you need for really serious cooking. The refrigeration is all Hydromar. It's been reviewed. You've even got an espresso coffee maker, which is essential. Look at this lovely hood for taking the smells away. That is typical yogurt. Dishwasher, of course. And then lovely heads compartment with a uh, shower and then two guest cabins. Nice single, lots of storage and then a double skipper's cabin. What I love about this is that the standard of joinery and fit out is identical to the rest of the yacht. There's no change between this and the joinery standard in the owner's stateroom. And then we're going to go back you see the steps up on your right so that the crew have the opportunity to get on deck without going through the main saloon as they wish. And then back into this great cabin, which is a really comfortable place to spend time, away from the hustle and bustle of everything that's going on aboard. and then back up into this most excellent deck saloon, Vivid. She truly is a yacht for all oceans.